How's it going, folks? Welcome back to the channel. So you can see here in my browser, I've got SimBrief, the oh-so-popular flight planning tool for Microsoft Flight Sim. However, we now have it built into Microsoft Flight Simulator, so we're going to walk through what we need to do to get it working, and we'll see what's what. So let's jump in. All right, first things first, head over to the software and downloads tab at the top here. And if you scroll down, you see we've got SimBrief Dispatch for MSFS. Now, this will work for Microsoft Flight Sim 2020, and they've said it will work with 24 as well. And I think they even said that it will be present in the kind of default EFB that we're going to get in a lot of planes in 24. So that's really cool. Uh, so get it downloaded. And it says here, place the package into your Microsoft Flight Sim community folder, and then you should be in business. All right, so here we go. So here is the download. So I'm going to drag into my community folder. Make sure you unzip what they give you first. And we are all good. Let's boot the sim and see if it works. All right, so here we are in the world map. And you can see here, bottom right, we have a sim brief button. If you click that, you can see at the top here, you can see I'm already signed in. If you're not signed in, get yourself signed in. And then you can create your new flight with this button right here. If you've already got a flight plan made and you want to view it, you can click this one here. Uh, you can even get technical support, read the user guide, and even see recent flights that you've done in SimBrief. Today though, I think we all wanna see what it's like to make a flight using this add-on within the Sim, so click the button. And although it doesn't look like the SimBrief website, it looks really, really similar. So let's start filling some stuff out. We'll try and build ourselves an Air Not flight. So we'll do X-Ray November Oscar 232, let's do Apart from Gatwick and we will go down to let's go to Alicante and we'll select our aircraft we will take what should we take let's take the Boeing 737 800 so just like on the website find it and then give it a second we can also select the uh, profile so we'll go with the first class config and you can see here we've got ourselves a map just just like the SimBrief website, but it's now built right into the Sim. Uh, once you're happy, obviously you can change all these details just like you can on the website. Everything's looking good. And we can click Generate Flight. Give it a sec. Again, not taking any longer than it otherwise would on the website. And there is our flight plan. If we kind of scroll through it, it's exactly the same kind of stuff you would see on the SimBrief website, except now we don't have to leave the Sim. You've got your OFP there and we are in business now what if we want to pre-file a flight onto say VATSIM again just like on the website version you can click on pre-file and what it will do now it can't do this bit in the sim it will load a browser sign you into VATSIM and you can pre-file as usual but there's one more step there is one more step because of course when you are using the website you click generate flight then you jump into your plane and you start importing it and things like that you notice there's a button up here now that says import into sim so we've generated our flight plan now we need to import it into the simulator okay now we've uh, pressed escape and come back out to the world map notice how we have our flight plan directly drawn onto the map from SimBrief. so that's very very nice indeed you can see all the different waypoints up here See your SID, see your start. That's all looking great. So let's jump into the sim and see what it does. Okay, so we have just spawned onto runway 08 right here at Gatwick. And I've just started the plane on the runway in the runway configuration. But notice how if we go into our legs page, it is completely empty. So it's not like the PMDG has actually seen what's gone on that we've done before and auto imported the route. It's still very much like before. So we have to you know, do it through the EFB. Then we can go into our route page, request a flight plan, use the sim brief version, set our payload, select the route, and it will then pull in the details from sim brief. However, it just so happens that we created that flight plan in the sim. We didn't have to leave and jump out to a browser. Okay, so the plane has now pulled in our flight plan from sim brief, and you can see all of our waypoints are populated. We can set our departures and arrivals. Just like it would be in a normal PMDG flight with a 737, you still have to kind of tell the plane to connect to SimBrief and pull all the stuff in. Don't be fooled thinking just because the SimBrief is now integrated into MSFS that so all of a sudden your legs page is going to be completely full by default the minute you boot the plane. That's, that's not the case. I guess maybe some of the default stuff might do though. Um, it'd be interesting to find out a bit more about that. Maybe if we were to use like the, the stock A320, not the Unibuilds one, I mean like the, the real stock one. Um, I wonder what happened there. We should probably try that, actually. Should we try it? Let's try it. 
Okay, so we are going to try it with this plane. This is the default A320, not the Indie Builds one. This is like the V1 default. So as default as you can get for an A320 Neo. So we're in the plane. Let's go to Sim Brief and we will make ourselves a new flight plan. There we go. Same details as before. And now this time we will choose an A320 Neo for our type code. And we'll leave it all as default. That's fine. Now let's click Generate Flight. Curious to see if like the default planes will just kind of gobble up the route from Simbrief. Import into Sim. There we go. And that's how it draws the route on the world map. Just like it would do before if you were to just say select an airport as destination and select one as arrival. Similar thing. There we go. So there is our routing again. Let's click fly and see what happens. All right, we're back in the sim now in the default version 1 A320 Neo. Note, this is not the Indie Builds. This is like as default as default can be. And you can see immediately by looking at RND, it has pulled in the route from our world map. So the kind of the flow is we made the flight plan using the sim brief add-on. We imported that flight plan into the sim, which then drew it on the world map. Now this plane has interpreted the world map and obviously drawn it into the uh, into the ND for us. And if we look hopefully into our flight plan, yeah, there's all of our waypoints look all the way to Alicante. Very nice indeed. So it's quite nice actually that even if like you're not into the study level stuff, but you still want to have you know more realistic flight plans, you can do that. And then if you're flying the default stuff, it will just kind of gobble that up and import it into the plane for you without too much hassle. So that's pretty good. Okay, so the other thing that I wanted to check out was how does it work if you say want to plan another leg? Do we have to back out to the main menu and then go through that whole process again, then get back into the sim, which could be quite annoying if we're on VAT sim because you're gonna have to kind of disconnect from VAT sim, go back to the main menu, make a new flight, import the flight into the sim, get back into the sim so that you're kind of at a gate at the airport, then reconnect to that sim, hope that no one's stolen your gate. It could get messy. Turns out that's not the case. If we go up to the top here, you can see we have a new icon in our menu called Sim Brief Dispatch. And if we click on that, give it a sec, you will notice that we have a screen that is very, very similar to what we just saw in the main menu. So again, let's say we've landed into Gatwick from somewhere else and now we want to continue on from Gatwick and do a second leg. So we just click you know go make a new flight so same screen as we saw before in the main menu just this time kind of enclosed within a window within the sim so let's just quickly make another flight out of gatwick there we go so there's our flight plan we are going from gatwick now up to edinburgh and we can just click generate flight it generates the flight again just like we're in the sim brief website except we're not it's way more convenient then we import that into the sim Makes you wonder how important that importing into the sim is if, say, we're not actually using a default aircraft. If we're using a PMDG 737, for example, where we still need to actually, you know, use the controls within the plane to get the plane to dial into sim brief manually. Do we need to import it into the sim? I don't know. I guess it can't hurt to do it. All right, so now if we go over to our EFB and you can see we've uh, done a request for the sim brief data, you can see that it's pulled in the flight plan. We're going from Gatwick up to Edinburgh, exactly what we just put in. Obviously, you will need to jump out to a browser if you want to pre-file your flight plan onto VATSIM. Again, we'll just quickly show you what to do there. So click on the sim brief dispatch, give it a second to load. Now, instead of clicking new flight, we want to look at the flight we've already just made. So we'll click view flights. Again, you're going to see a screen here that's very, very familiar to what you would see on um, the actual website of SimBrief itself. Click on Brief File, click on that SimBrief File, and it's going to chuck you out to a browser. It's going to say it's going to do that. You know, are you sure? Yes, I am. It's going to load up your default browser. It's probably going to want me to sign in because I'm not signed in, but if I were, I could then go through and pre-file my flight plan. But very, very nice uh, feature here from Navigraph into the sim. This is definitely a big one, I would say. And it's good that it's getting into Flight Sim 2024 as well. And also with that integration into the default 2024 EFB. So it's just uh, making it more accessible to more people in different places. Obviously, if you're on the Phoenix and you're on the PMDG, you can use the the, the built-in sim brief tool to make your flight plan. And you'll probably still need then need, as we've seen, to get the planes to actually dial into sim brief and then pull in the flight plans but the default stuff as we saw once you've imported it into the sim and it kind of draws it on the world map for the default planes that's good enough it will just take from that and then draw the flight plan accordingly on your efb but yeah great stuff from navigraph really looking forward to using this i think you know this is definitely something i'm going to use day to day on the stream so uh on which subject get subbed if you're not already so you don't miss our next live stream and uh, obviously we've got a ton of content coming out for 2024 Lots of stuff going on. Be sure you don't miss it. Get subbed, ring the bell, hit the like button, all that good YouTube stuff. But I'm going to leave this one here, folks. Thank you very much indeed for watching. Thank you to Navigraph for this awesome add-on. Take the very best care of yourselves. 
and I'll see you in the next video. And as always, happy flying.